the longest running kids live action series. We're talking about Power Rangers, yes, and did you know the Red Power Ranger? Steve Cardenas is from San Antonio, right, Steve? Hello. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, that is right. Uh, yeah, I went, uh, I probably moved to San Antonio when I was about 12 to live with my dad, and uh, yeah, I mean, I went to high school there and everything, so. What high school? Uh, uh, well, I went to Lee for the first half and then Clark for the second half. Yeah, but this is back in the early 90s. <laughs> that is so cool, though. No, we always love, you know, our viewers love seeing and hearing the people that are from here, that went to school here, and knowing that, you know, I grew up watching Pat Rangers. I loved it every morning. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> me and my brother. This is the 25th anniversary of the movie, 27th year of the series. So let's talk about what that means to you. The biggest thing that it means is that I'm just so happy that you know the fans love us still you know what i mean like i mean even the grown-ups you know even the people that already like now have kids of that are turning them on to power rangers now too i feel like you know we've kind of bridged some generational gaps in one sense which is cool you know the fans coming out to the comic cons and visiting us i mean obviously with covid now that's all kind of kind of on a hold or whatever but you know fans would come up in, in, in droves you know and come up and meet us and take pictures and get autographs and all that stuff like that and some of the things they would say to us you know like hey i mean you know i went through a really rough childhood and power rangers was always like a nice escape every day or to hear that kind of stuff and know that we had that kind of an impact on people to me like i mean it's very humbling but you know there's just like you know i think it's just a testament too to like what power rangers was about you know about diversity and teamwork and all that stuff so for me i you know i'm still just fascinated so since you're from san antonio mm -hmm. we wanted to play a fun little game uh right. you know we love our mexican food here <laughs> oh boy i know ever since i moved back to texas i'm living in dallas now and i've already like put on some weight again you know with all that tex-mex you know <laughs> yes. lots of good stuff hard to resist so the questions are we're gonna start all right is it corn or flour Tortilla. Well, um, I do love flour, but I mostly eat corn because, you know, it's a little bit healthier. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I like them both, but corn, corn I prefer more. Yeah, yeah. corn, that's a good one. What about crispy or soft tacos? Uh, soft tacos. Soft tacos, oh, mm -hmm. Margarita or michelada? Uh, margarita. Green or red salsa? Green. Green? Oh, yeah. okay. uh -huh. I thought you were going to say red. Yeah. All right. I know, you would think I would say red, <laughs> but... Not everything about me is red, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, if you could have a superpower, would, uh, if you had to pick from these two, flying or being invisible? I think I would be flying, you know? Just uh, taking that flight is just incredible, you know? Here, there. Yeah. yeah. Invisible yeah. seems like you got stuff to hide, you know exactly. what I mean? You know, exactly. you want to, like, spy on people and stuff, you know? <laughs> exactly. Uh, do you have a super weakness? Uh, you know what? It's so funny. Like, I, I do like to watch chick flicks and, <laughs> and like, chick music, you know what I mean? Like, I, I really do. That is, like, a guilty pleasure. Um, and, you know, bread is my enemy. Like, it's uh -huh. the worst for me. Me, you know, yeah. I hate it. <laughs> we all got our weaknesses. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we do. But how did you get started? Like, so you went to school here. Were you always into acting? No, no, not at all. Um, so I'm a martial artist. Um, I've been doing martial arts since I moved to San Antonio. When I moved when I was like 12 years old, um, there was a martial arts studio right down the street from my house. So I got involved in martial arts and I was always a big fan of like karate movies and kung fu movies and the karate kid and all that stuff like that. Um, as a young kid, I used to get bullied so I could really relate to that. So I got into martial arts and then, you know, um, and then I eventually became a martial arts instructor. So by that time I was 20, I was like running a martial arts studio. And, and teaching and all that kind of stuff and that was really what my goal and my aspirations were you know what I mean like I figured that was gonna be my lifelong thing and then all of a sudden I heard about this audition and it was like an open casting call in Dallas and I was living in Dallas at the time so I just walked on <laughs> and there was like 5,000 people there and uh, and I thought oh I'm never gonna make it and uh, sure enough I did my audition and like a couple days later they called me back they're like we want to fly you to California to be the producers and you know, and then I, I never left, you know? I mean, it was like- I got goosebumps. <laughs> just a, just a, honestly, a thank you, like, to all my fans, all, all my San Antonio fans, of course, but, um, you know, just all my fans around the world. Thank you guys for, you know, for putting up with us and, and, and you know, just, you know, letting us continue to be part of your lives for over 25 years, man. We really appreciate it, so thank you. Hey. 
And Steve has a podcast called The Fantastic Duo, and he features WWE stars and all kinds of topics and celebrities. Head on over to SALive.com to find the link to tune in to his Mighty Morphin Adventures.